Hey guys, my name is Rick Stone from the blog Our Stony Acres. Welcome to Grow What You Eat, Eat What You Grow, which is our video series on all things vegetable gardening. Please remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel and then also leave your comments and make sure you like the video. All of those things help to spread the videos around YouTube so that we can help more and more people learn how to garden in their own backyards. So this week's tip is on planting tomatoes. And at first I thought, well, it's kind of silly to do a video on planting tomatoes, but really there's more to planting tomatoes than just digging a hole and sticking the plant in. And so I thought it would be a good idea for us to talk about planting tomatoes as we're moving into later into the spring. It gives us an opportunity to uh, talk about the right way to plant tomatoes. Okay, so here's what you're going to need. You are going to need a tomato plant. Okay. I brought a tomato plant. Nice little start here that we have. This one I didn't actually grow myself. I usually grow my own tomato starts, but I'm doing this video a little early in the year and so I actually went to a nursery and found one so that I had a good example for you. My tomato starts won't be this big for another three or four weeks. So you'll need a tomato plant, of course a shovel. Then you're going to need a banana peel, at least one, maybe two, an egg, a cottage cheese container with the bottom cut out of it and then whatever you're going to use for your support. So either your stake system or if you're going to use a tomato cage, you want to have that as well. So those are the things you need to plant a tomato. So let's talk about how we should do this. First off, I want to talk about this tomato start. Now, this is a nice healthy start. Usually I don't let mine go quite this long because you'll, you'll see that the, the, the roots, it's, it's getting a, a little bit root bound. And so I actually will plant, when I grow my own seedlings, I'll plant them when they're a little bit smaller. But there's a few things that I want you to note on this tomato plant. First off, see these leaves here at the bottom? These are actually the, the uh, first leaves that come out when the plant first starts growing and those are worthless leaves. They're, they're just there to give the plant energy early on and so we want to get rid of those and the way you get rid of those is just by pinching them off here at the base and make sure you pinch them off or cut them off with a little pair of scissors or something. Don't peel them off because we don't want to damage this bark. Now you can't see this on the video but if you look really close at a tomato start you'll notice that there's kind of almost this hair growing along the outside of the tomato plant. And actually, if you will plant a tomato in the ground and you get some of the stem actually in the ground, the, the, the stem will actually sprout more roots. And that's good because we want to have lots of extra roots. And so the next thing that I do when I have a new start like this is, and, and one especially that's this tall, is I will go ahead and pinch off the bottom set of leaves as well. Okay, and again, you're gonna pinch those off so that you don't tear or damage the stem at all. Okay, so now we've got about, oh, three inches of stem here, which is perfect. When we go out to the garden, we're actually going to plant the tomato this deep, all the way to here, and possibly, I, when I get out there, I may actually decide to take this branch off as well and plant it all the way to here. And as what happens is, all the way along the stem, more roots will grow. And then that gives you this nice, big, healthy root ball that will just be perfect later on in the season and will give you lots of extra energy and an extra ability for it to take up water and nutrients. And so that's an, an awesome idea and we'll show you when we get actually out to the garden. So why don't we go ahead and, and head out to the garden. And as what we're going to do is we're going to dig a hole that is about four inches deeper than you actually intend to plant your tomato. The other thing that I like to do, we have pretty heavy clay soil, so I actually like to, to dig it fairly wide and that just kind of loosens up the dirt and, and ultimately when we backfill in there, it'll loosen up the dirt and, and it gives you know plenty of space for the roots to grow and, and soft instead of that hard clay, some softer dirt for the roots to, to get through. So now, I told you that we needed a banana peel and an egg. Why? Okay. So banana peels and eggs are both organic material that we're going to put in the bottom of the hole. So the banana peel and the egg will go down there in the bottom of the hole and those will provide organic material for the roots and in particular it will provide organic material that's heavy in minerals that tomatoes like. So tomatoes like potassium and bananas are heavy in potassium 
and the potassium helps with fruit setting, it helps with fruit development, and so we want lots of potassium. And then potatoes also like calcium, and so our egg is going to be high in calcium, and so that is a good thing to also have in there. Calcium helps to prevent root rot and helps just to make good, strong, solid plants. And so, and it also, the other thing that it helps prevent is blossom end rot, which is a problem that people have with tomatoes, and it can be caused by lack, lack of calcium. Now, that's not the only thing that causes it, but it can cause it. So, we're just going to stick an egg and a banana in the bottom of that, uh, that pile. And some people put a whole banana in. I like to just put the peels in because we have plenty of peels around uh, from our bananas. So stick those down in the bottom of the hole. And then you're going to go ahead and cover them up with a, you know, an, a couple of inches, two or three inches of soil. And then is what's going to happen is the roots from the tomato plant are going to work their way down there. And those banana and those eggs will rot and provide lots of really good nutrients down there in the soil for your tomato plants. So cover those up and then we're just going to go ahead and put the tomato plant in and again you're going to bury it deeper so that you'll get root development on the plants. Now let's jump back to the studio really quick. I have actually seen people that will plant their tomatoes sideways and then bend them up so that they have this whole root structure uh, that way. And there's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I don't like it because it, you know, you've got a real good chance, especially with a big, solid, um, well-grown start like this, you've got a chance of actually breaking off that, uh, that top. So I prefer to just dig a deeper hole and plant all the way, at least to here, sometimes all the way to here. The more stem that's in the ground, then the more root development and root ball that you're going to have. So back out in the garden again, uh, we, you, you just plant those in. And then if you have a problem with cutworms in your garden, that's where the cottage cheese container comes in. So cutworms only are active in the top two or three inches of the soil. And so if you put that cottage cheese container around your tomato plant in the soil at the soil level and then bury that in, that prevents the cutworms from being able to get into your tomato plant and damage your tomato plant. And cutworms can actually just completely kill a tomato plant. And so that's a very good organic way to do it. If you're not comfortable putting plastic into your garden, you can also do the same thing with like newspaper or regular paper, fold it over several times and create a, a ring around that you kind of staple closed and that will uh, create a barrier. Not quite as effective as the plastic is, but, but we'll also do the same thing. So. Uh, fill that all in. Now, the next step in planting your tomatoes is, is I want you to put either your stakes or your cage, whatever it is that you're going to use, I want you to put it out in the garden now. The reason why is, is because the years that I don't put my tomato cage out when I plant my tomatoes, I end up having not enough time to get around to it and then I finally go out there and do it when I'm desperate and I end up damaging branches on the tomato plant trying to put my cage on when I could have just easily been out there and noticed that a branch wasn't growing quite right and could have moved it and put it in the cage and everything throughout the year. So I like to put my cages or my stakes, whichever you're going to use, out right when I plant so that they're out there and they're ready to go and the tomatoes start growing right up inside the cage and they're perfect. So that's it. Pretty simple. Uh, simple and easy way. The eggs and the bananas, I have to warn you, that's a wives tale. Okay, So there's not really any scientific proof that they help, but I feel like they do and it provides organic material and we're organic growers and so we don't use fertilizers and so that gives some organic materials that are high in the nutrients that, that tomatoes need in the soil. But there's not any studies that have been done to prove that they really are better or anything like that. The other thing, bananas are supposed to improve the taste of your tomatoes. It's supposed to make them sweeter. Again, I'm not sure how you even judge that. But So take that with a little bit of a grain of salt. That's something that I do. I have done forever. The egg is a fairly new thing to us, but the banana peels, we've done banana peels for the whole 20 years that we've done our tomatoes. So something that we like to do, but again, it's kind of a wife's tale. So anyways, take it for, for what it is. So that's it for this week. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you subscribe. And then also don't forget about our premium videos. 
you can click right here and go to our blog and we have four or five different video courses on gardening. They all vary in length from an hour and a half to five hours long. Uh, most of them are cheaper than going to a movie and uh, you get lifetime access and can learn how to grow vegetables. So great videos right there. So go ahead and click through those as well. So that's it for this week. We'll see you next time and happy gardening.